Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Illuminate Macaulay on today's program. High expectations as Ogoni people prepare for President Buhari's launch of cleanup exercise of the oil producing community. Delta State Government mediates between host communities, farmers and herdsmen, calls for peaceful coexistence. And the Benue State Governor invites anti-corruption agency to probe past government officials. Thank you so much for joining us. We'd like to begin today's program in the southeastern region of the country. Perhaps one of the most talked about issues in Ogoniland in River State at the moment is the cleanup exercise built to take off in the next couple of days. After about 25 years of protest and agitation, the people can now heave a sigh of relief as the UNEP report is set to be implemented. It's a long time coming for the people of Ogoni land in River State. As men, women, the youth and children look forward to the much-awaited cleanup of their land. Koro Koro Flow Station in Thai local government area is one of the most affected sites. The pollution is quite evident here. Oh, yes. I want to thank President Muhammad, Muhammad Buhari for the step he has taken so far on this implementation of UNEP report in Ogoni land. We started this struggle 1992, and it all started from here, because this community is very important in the, report, in the implementation. All over Ogoni, you have sites that have been rendered useless to fishing activities and farming activities. It is our belief that with the launch, activities to clean up and remediate and restore our land and water so as to give our people livelihood in agriculture, give our people a means to survive. For the paramount role of Ogoni land, this is a historic moment for the people. The expectation is too high. I don't, I don't think any Ogoni man will go and cause any trouble. I don't believe that. Mr. President and his group should take Ogoni as his own people who will always take care of him like he's taking care of us. Some also believe it's time to preserve the bond of unity in Ogoni land. We're getting to a very crucial moment in the struggle when the issues we raise are being uh, attended to and because of the importance of this moment it means that Ogoni people need to work together as a community, as a people to ensure that peace prevails in the area. According to the UNEP report, the cleanup exercise will take at least 30 years for full implementation. And for the people of Ogoni land, this is not just the beginning of economic recovery, but also of social regeneration and development for generations yet to come. Emmanuel Eri, Channels Television News. And that story totally involves the environment. Meanwhile, the Minister of Environment, Aisha Mohammed, has urged the Niger Delta Avengers and other militant groups in the region to stop blowing up oil installations and embrace the path of dialogue with the federal government. According to the minister, the act of blowing up oil facilities is not just criminal, but its impact on the environment is devastating. Today, over 60% of the pollution in the Niger Delta is third-party breaks. It's criminal. So, and this is not being done by people coming from the outside. This is being done by people doing this to themselves. And this is not a short-term 
um, not a short-term wound. This is a very deep, deep wound because when you open up oil into your environment, it is decades to get that back. So it's not just a question of what you do to the economy in the short term. If the economy fixes itself in the diversification, what have you done to your land? And I think young people really need to understand, please come back to the table and dialogue. Because the alternative that you've chosen is the wrong path. It's the wrong path for you. It's the wrong path for your future. It's the wrong path for your environment. And, and, I, and I believe that, you know, that's what we're saying. We have to dialogue. And, and uh, I, do, I know that the rule of law uh, for this administration is paramount. You will, it will not acceptable for you uh, to go around risking other people's lives um, and, and the criminality that is going on right now. Nigeria's Minister of Environment, Aisha Mohammed. The oil facility sabotage by the militants is not the only worry of the highest officials in the region. What about the violence concerning herdsmen? Well, to quell what is now regarded as a menace in many parts of the country, not just the South-South, the Delta State Governor, Ifanyi Okoa, has held a peace meeting between herdsmen and farmers in their host communities. The event which took place at the government house in Asaba gave participants the opportunity to lend their voices on possible solutions to the crisis. A gathering of traditional rulers, clergymen, security operatives, cattle breeders, farmers and youths from Delta State. They are here to meet with the state governor, Ifan Yokoa, to find solutions to the violent clashes between farmers and herdsmen. One after the other, they pour out their hearts. We've lost eight persons so far, brutally murdered, between 2012 and now. We can't assess our land for farming. We were noted for granite farming, which is no more. Okada Rider saw a full animal, they gave me a lift. He gave him a lift on the road, he stabbed him, killed him, and took his head, Okada away. A representative of various cattle dealers made some demands from the security operatives present. Who used to carry that cow? Formerly, as you people say, they carry magic and stink. Now, they carry AK-47 according to what the farmers who have been in the bush is saying. The question is that, where are they getting that with farms? The State Commissioner of Police noted the concerns, but also called for cooperation amongst the people and the local communities. This fact makes it instructive for all hands to be on deck with a view to finding a amicable solution to this crisis. Finally, the governor tells them to live as one in order to allow peace to reign. It is important that our brothers must realize that they must help us to fish out the criminal elements who are actually now trying to bring a dent to their name. While we welcome everybody and we will continue to welcome people, they must realize that it is in the best interest of Delta State of the would-be visitors to cooperate with us to ensure that we keep peace in our land. Suggestions from this meeting will be taken further by a committee to be set up by the state's government as all concerned seek an end to the crisis. You're watching news across Nigeria. The governor of Kwara State also has something to say concerning the herdsmen uh, violence, uh, communal clashes involving herdsmen. It also uh, uh, elicits discourse concerning the Nas Nigerian Union of journalists as well and we take a look at security not just in those areas but also in the north central part of the country when news across nigeria returns don't go away